As a former road racer, I really had to swallow my pride to buy a hybrid bike. I thought these were built for the elderly or people who just like to stop and smell the roses. So what did I think of it? Could it replace your road bike? Is it a competent commuter? Find out now. So what's a hybrid bike? A hybrid bike is a bike that doesn't excel in one area. So it's not a road bike specific to the road. It's not a mountain bike that really excels in the rough stuff. And it's not a cruiser that's completely casual. It falls somewhere in between. The one thing that's in common with most of these is they, they, they tend to focus more on comfort. Um, but like I said, they can go all over the spectrum. Today, what we're going to talk about is specifically a 2017 Cirrus Elite that I picked up about it's about six months ago for on sale for $650 um, at a uh, local bike store. This has nine-speed Shimano Sora components, 160 millimeter disc brakes, and a carbon fork. So what do I like about this bike? Number one, I think it's super comfortable. From the second I jumped on it, it just felt good. The geometry felt good for me. The bars were in a great position. The grips were comfortable and it had real nice bar ends. It's really easy to shift. The controls just feel nice and I just, I just like the, the package. The other thing I like about this bike is it's super easy to turn into a commuter. Uh, mounting racks, mounting fenders is really easy on this bike. I ended up going with the Specialized Fenders, which looked a little bit gimmicky at first, but it turns out they're pretty easy to mount and there's quite a bit of adjustability in there and I'm really liking them. That was the main reason why I bought this bike. I wanted something that was fairly affordable. I wanted an alloy frame um, that I wouldn't worry about banging around a little bit and I could lock it up and just not have to worry about it. So I think for the price I paid for this bike, $650, I think it's great value. It really rides like a bike that's more expensive than that. I think the stock tires are good on this bike. I mean, 2,000 miles, no flats, what more can I say? I also really like the wide tires. This is the first road-ish bike that I've had that's had tires wider than 23 millimeters because I'm kind of old school. But I, I love the wider tires, the 32 millimeter, because you can roll over stuff and just really not have to worry about every crack and crevice. And when you're commuting around the city, it's really nice. I've owned several motorcycles with disc brakes, but this is the first bicycle that I've owned with disc brakes. And I can tell you right now, I'm never going back to the old type. I think the other thing is living in the Northwest and in the rain, the disc brakes are a huge, huge, huge advantage over the, the other types of brakes in the rain because um, it's just, the response is just awesome. I really like the handling on this bike as well. Like I said, it's super comfortable. You sit up real high. You feel like you really have a position of power, kind of like when you're riding a dual sport bike. This hybrid bike kind of has that same feel where you feel like you're up and above. And when you're in the city, it's great. What I don't like about this bike, uh, the first thing I don't like is it's got one of those goofy custom stems with the cap on the top that doesn't allow you to lower it to put the spacers on top because I, I would like to lower them just a teeny bit more. Another thing I don't like about this bike, which is common from a specialized bike that I bought in 1995 that I still have, a stump jumper, is that the stock wheels are weak. Uh, that stump jumper that I had within the first year, I completely destroyed the rear wheel. And this bike, I had issues with the rear wheel too. Um, start breaking spokes, um, a couple of months in and ended up replacing it with a stronger built wheel. I feel like it should be stronger. The Specialized Cirrus is not amazing at any one thing, but it is good at, at a lot of things. If you're only gonna own one bicycle, I think a hybrid is the bike to buy. It can be a great commuter. It can be a good first time bike for people to get into shape. And it can also be a good bike to go out and push yourself on the road while being comfortable at the same time. All in all, I have been, I really, really like this bike and, and it has been an ideal for the, for the reason that I bought it as a commuter, but I think it could be great for other types of riding styles as well. Thanks everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe if you like it and have a good one.